Hey folks, welcome into the Weather Center. Live look at Amsterdam from the Cl uh, Housing Authority building. It's quiet. Folks making their way through downtown, trying to cross the bridge, link up with I-90, not going to encounter any problems this morning. We have uh, uh, temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Mix of cloud and stars overhead. Notice how the clouds are a little thicker down towards the south, though. Big system moving on in has the potential to bring some of us a lot of snow overnight and into the day Tuesday. Right now, it's way down here in the deep south, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, but it's going to quickly move up the east coast. And well, before you know it, we will be in the thick of it. February coming roaring back for a few of us uh, on future cast. You can see 830 PM. We're still quiet. So during the day today from start to finish, I really don't think anything slows you down in terms of weather out there on the roads. It's rain down in Washington, D.C., Philly, New York City. By the time it makes it to us, though, it runs into cold air. And while we've got the steady precipitation, it's almost entirely snow through this event. We're going to be down around 28, 29, 30 for the duration of it. So wintery mix, not a huge concern. The biggest if factor is how far north does this snow make it right now? You can see on future cast. We think it gets up to the southern Adirondacks, but we know it's going to be very, very light up here. Your totals aren't going to be anything compared to the Catskills, the mid Hudson and the southern Berkshires, where you're closer to the center of the storm. You're going to get so much more moisture. Things taper off around mid afternoon Tuesday. Temperatures could sneak above freezing, so maybe the light stuff on the tail end of this system. You get a couple raindrops mixed in for valley locations, but again, it's 99% snow. How much do we get? Big totals down this way. Catskills. Hudson Valley south of Saugerties and the Berkshires south of Pittsfield. I've still got you in the 8 to 12 inch range. There's been a little bit of a shift towards the south with some of the model data, so we have backed off on total slightly in the capital district. Two to five inches for Albany, Schenectady, Troy, up to around Clifton Park. And again, you remember we were saying the snow is going to make it north, but it's going to be incredibly light. There's such a rapid drop off in terms of totals, maybe a coating to two inches for places like Amsterdam, Saratoga Springs, Glens Falls, and across into Rutland lines up very nicely with what the National Weather Service has put out winter storm warnings for these areas in pink. This is where travel has the greatest potential to be dangerous, not just because of the higher snowfall totals, but also it's going to be awfully breezy and blustery gusts up to 30 35 miles per hour during this. So the blowing snow could also reduce visibility. Winter storm watch up for the tri cities, the capital district and across into Bennington County, Vermont. Again, totals probably going to be lower, but Impact still possible, so we've got to watch up. Quieter for Wednesday. It's cool, it's blustery for Valentine's Day, but highs in the low 30s are slightly more typical for this time of year. Late Thursday and into Friday morning, another round of snow showers. A third round of snow showers possible Saturday. Both of those systems appear to be light. Well, maybe some lingering lake effect in the Adirondacks during the day Sunday. High of 34 to round out the forecast. Thank you, Matt.